Hi everybody, uh, welcome to uh, Unprepared Geeks, Smart Bears bi-weekly podcast about what's happening in the world of quality. And we're covering the world of quality from the perspective of operations people, developers and testers out there. Uh, today is a special episode. We'll be talking about the Golden Paw Awards. But first, I'm Nicholas. I am Eric. I am Henrik. I'm Ulrika. And this esteemed panel will be <laughs> discussing uh, the Golden Paw Awards, the first annual Golden Paw Awards, where uh, SmartBear has been asking the community which were the best things of 2012, which were the worst things of 2012 in the world of IT. Uh, and yep, yeah, let's get started straight away because we got seven awards to uh, <coughs> uh, hand out. And can you zoom in? You see here, I've put in golden stars or silver stars on my cue cards. <laughs> I spent all morning doing this. High quality. <laughs> <laughs> this is quality. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first Golden Paw Award. <clears throat> the Luke, I am your father award for most impactful news. So what happened in, in IT news that was made the most impact? Was it one, Facebook files for an IPO, a well-publicized uh, IPO, Another well-publicized thing was the, the bitter battle between uh, Sa Samsung and Apple. Mm. Suing each other back and forth, not only in the US, also in Germany and other countries, back and forth. <coughs> uh, also, biggest event ever on the net, uh, YouTube's coverage of the space jump. Uh, and finally, one billion dollars. Uh, Facebook buys Instagram. Uh, they buy basically buy a mobile service for one billion dollars. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So, which one do you think uh, the uh, got most votes? I think the Facebook game uh, IPO. Yeah, I think definitely Apple, Samsung. Mm, yeah, I think so too, actually. Okay, uh, I will go for uh, the uh, Facebook files and IPO. Uh, so we divided which one we think. Think and let's look. The winner is <laughs> the winner of the Luke I Am Your Father Award for most impactful news event is Apple Samsung lawsuit. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the first time somebody applauds a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ooh. over over patents. Oh yeah, oh. only now, time, my dear. Yeah. Now I really feel that shame on myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, it was big. Yeah, no was. doubt. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was really big, but mm, it was a little bit stretched out. Wasn't yeah, it? you're, you're right, but because it got diluted a, a little bit. Like, yeah. Yeah. To me, I mean, I, the most, the like the thing that the impacted the most, I, I believe, was that Ac Apple actually got a big uh, hit mm. from uh, back from Samsung, I guess. Yeah, that yes. I, I did because yes. there was a time when you thought like Apple is unbeatable. You can't sue yes. them. They uh. like they're like waterproof, but uh, something proved them wrong. So that's not even Darth hmm? Vader is waterproof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, everybody has their like yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the weak spots. Uh, and this was their first <laughs> kink in the armor. Since then, they've had the uh, uh, failed uh, Apple Maps. Mm. They've had the uh, stock being in a horrible shape, mm. a lot of stuff. Yeah. Not that they've been around so long time. Well. I mean, Facebook, y they're too young to be a father, right? Yep. So yes. it's just another buying thing. Uh, Apple something that really shows the evil, the dark side of e IT <laughs> 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 empires. It's yeah. true. So uh, should we say congratulations, Apple and Samsung? Uh, <laughs> um, Next award, and uh, the the Great Pyramid. How in the blazes did they do it? Award mm -hmm. <laughs> for the biggest tech success story. Mm. Just like building a pyramid, which seems impossible. Mm. Uh, which was the biggest tech success story? And the ones we have are Kickstarter. Uh, I mean, we've been referring to Kickstarter several times in uh, Unprepared Geeks. Mm. Uh, and changing not only IT, it's changing uh, how startups operate. Uh, cell phone networks during Hurricane Sandy. Uh, 
because usually what happens during a time of crisis, cell phone networks goes down. Mm. It didn't during Hurricane Sally. It actually worked. It even worked better than landlines. Hmm. Uh, YouTube's coverage of the space jump, I don't know how many viewers, but it was the biggest uh, live event, uh, video live event forever on the net. And it worked. Hmm. Uh, and finally, Google's driverless cars. Uh, well, uh, it's coming. The Google driverless car. Uh, and which one uh, do you think got the most, mo most votes? Uh, since I so desperately want one of those cars, right? <laughs> I will go with the cars. <laughs> Do you trust the cars? Oh, of course. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think may maybe the space jump. People like to vote for things that happens in space, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tricky. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this is a hard one. I think both mm -hmm. the car and the space jump is pretty tight, I guess, but. But maybe the space app, because it, it's really impressive how Google managed to operate such a like, huge uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. without the, like, breaking down. So. That was yeah. actually live stream. Yeah, it was. Yes, live stream. It was high quality. Mildly well, so. impressive. Mm. Mildly impressive. Mildly yeah. impressive. <laughs> Usually you can't even serve a, a web page when <laughs> you have too many visitors. So it was pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, and I also think that the cell phone uh, network was oh, yeah. extremely impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so right. I didn't yeah. think about that. So, a lot of cool stuff, actually. Um, let's see who won. The winner for the Great Pyramid, How in the Blazes Did They Do It Award for the biggest tech success story is Google driverless cars. Oh. <laughs> well, you got this down. <laughs> yeah. But that's, uh, that's I, I mean... I won it. Yeah. Why so, wouldn't anyone else? Yeah. So you can be in the back seat, like... <laughs> yeah, I can read a book a or something, I don't yeah. know, like yeah. code a little bit or yeah. something, you know, yeah. perfect. Yeah, and this is, uh, talking about evil <coughs> empires, this is the evil empire that has still has got a good heart, mm. right? Yeah. Mm. It feels like it. Yeah. yeah. For how so. long? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, good on you, Google. Uh, uh, Well-deserved award. Uh, it will be really interesting to see like what what they will make of this in yeah. the future. Like, yeah. Now it's just for fun, but yeah, if, I wonder if if there is a bug and you crash, can you instantly automatically file a bug report? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the first thing that pops into your mind after you're like sit there in the crash vehicle. <laughs> I you want to file a bug like report. Start driving again. <laughs> like but the question is, I mean, this is the big biggest tech success story. Mm. Is it really a tech success story? Yeah, we don't Do know. We I see mean, cars that, that's the thing. Yeah. It's just a prototype and people, yeah. I don't know. It, I mean, I, it was I, I bound mean, to happen. Maybe that's where the success yeah. is. Yeah, but Someone how, how had to do, do it first. Uh, or I, must, I mean, uh, I mean uh, looking at, at the, um, the space jam, there's something that we actually can verify. It actually yes. worked. Yeah. But these cars, I don't know. Yeah. So they <laughs> but the cars yeah, worked too, right? They actually get an extra award. Biggest vaporware. Of, of 2012. <laughs> Most successful vaporware. <laughs> uh, third award, uh, the Titanic Award. Ooh. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Should we do the two of us? No, 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 no,
biggest uh, flop of them all, I think. I mean, mm-hmm. by just go- it, it, actually, it's kind of fun because I, I, I just someday I googled iOS maps, and the first thing that comes up in search results is that Tumblr paints like the wonders of iOS maps, where like people paste photos of like like strange uh, things <laughs> in those maps. So. Yeah, I I that, that's a, re- a really big, huh? surprisingly big flop for Apple. I, hmm. I wouldn't thought that would would happen that they would allow it, and it's as always. Yeah, sorry, and that's my vote. <laughs> yeah. Hank, I don't know. Do I think uh, Windows Eight, uh, yeah, or maybe I just want to think that. So uh, I mean, Android has like what seventy percent of the market, and iOS has the rest. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'll vote for Windows Eight as well. Uh, and the winner is Apple iOS 6 Maps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard uh, the other day that our colleague Matthias' uh, nephew got lost by following Apple <laughs> yeah. Maps uh, just two days ago because they showed like the car road, not the pedestrian uh, uh, way. Um, and she had uh, made a setting and all. So she called him like 30 minutes late <laughs> and like, hey, how can I find? So she had to use... Uh, talking wasn't it like so I don't know where but it was some, <laughs> somewhere like where the police like they they told people to not use the Apple Maps yeah. like because there have been like accidents where people have followed those maps and it uh, led them to really dangerous situations that, yeah that's bad aspect but that is actually a good aspect because if it forces you to actually talk to someone <laughs> it's, it encourages like, a social behavior yeah. like it's a social uh, going app back to social. <laughs> I, I kind of also agree that it's kind of um, it's kind of scary that we're so dependent on, on this yes, map uh, apps now that like if they're wrong we do like really stupid things. <laughs> yeah. We don't uh, actually look at the road, we're like, looking at the thing. There's not supposed to be a wall no. here. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't actually, I don't think this is such a big deal. I don't. It was a bad app, but that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah I got murdered last week. Yeah. Because of the map. So what? Did. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, For real? He uh, arrived at the wrong house and the guy murdered him. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 yeah, it and is. I laughed. You both said right. Oh, Thanks. I laughed. Yeah. Okay, sorry. But I, I, I totally agree that it's it's not maybe a big thing if it was like Google Android, but it's a big thing because it's Apple. Because Apple is known for such high quality. Yeah, that's and, true. That's and when true. they do something which. Di- that's as bad as this, like with this low yeah. quality, is really like surprising. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. how, how, how could they even allow this? Do but they, it, they it do was bound to happen thing. something That's bad true. after Steve Jobs. Everyone waited for it. Yeah. When yeah, the yeah, bad right. things yeah. mm-hmm. come coming out. Yeah. But it's uh, but it's also uh, extra funny that they just before kicked out uh, Google Maps. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. 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 Moving along. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Apple. Uh, you got on the list. <laughs> uh, uh, I think you're maybe I don't remember. Are you uh, up for more awards? Let's see. Next uh, award, the Spork Award for most <laughs> underrated product. Underrated, underrated product. Okay. And uh, the nominees are Microsoft Surface. Uh, I mean, in terms of design, usability, quality, it got very good reviews, but it hasn't really succeeded. Windows 8, same thing, kind of. I mean, it it got re- good reviews and stuff, but it hasn't succeeded. Yeah. I, I, I can see your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Google Chromebook, uh, same thing. Good reviews, bad sales. Uh, Cubify, uh, Cube three D printer. Mm. Good reviews. Uh, well, it hasn't been that successful so far. Which one do you think? Uh, just. 3D printer. 3D printer. 3D printer. I think the surface actually, because mm-hmm. right? they are better than you think. Yeah, and I will go for the surface as well. Yeah. Um, and the winner is the Spork Award for the most underrated product of 2012 is the Google Chromebook. Oh, what? Cool. Yeah. Wow. But that's what reading is you popular. guys think. The Google <laughs> reading Chromebook. Reading is popular. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. is it? It's, That's it's, their, like, it's always online and yeah, stuff the, like that. It, I mean, it's the uh, Chrome yeah. uh, laptop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a browser, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I, I, I was thinking, I don't know either. I, was I haven't tried it. Haven't you Maybe heard of uh, OL, what was it called? O-L-T-P-C. OLTPC. One laptop per child. Oh, yeah. It was kind of the same thing, like, eight or nine years ago. 
Oh, yeah. Didn't go yeah. anywhere either. Yeah. So people <laughs> love their laptops still. Congratulations! Yeah. I mean, yes. it's 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 yeah. like everything. I mean, it feels like you have talked about this for yeah. ages now. Like, oh, everything will be online, and you don't have to have anything, and we will have thin clients and blah blah blah. But I don't know. I mean, if it hasn't succeeded yet, I don't see why it should succeed now. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. But what do we think people voted for? It's because the people love their laptops. I think it's underrated, so they they think there is uh, it should be used. It's yeah. nice. Maybe they miss the keyboard on the pads. And yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Has anybody tried it? No. Uh, no, unfortunately, yeah. I think it's hard to get one in Sweden. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so may- maybe it's easier yeah, like in the US or something yeah. so maybe I should research because I was thinking uh, I, I was but, but I mean yet again I understand that I mean if for, a, for a normal user I mean having an email client having a, a browser having uh, maybe some file sharing uh, stuff that's usually like enough for you yep uh, or so sorry a word processor mm-hmm. and it should, everything is available in, in google cloud but so, it should be so green. maybe it is uh, enough for people it yep. should be green and climate friendly that was the original idea i think yeah. with the uh, thin clients and stuff mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. would be very oh, yeah. power effective etc yeah. i don't know about google but no. well well, anyway, congratulations, Google. You won the most underrated product, which is something to be proud of. Yeah. The next one, uh, maybe not to be so proud of, uh, the most overrated product. <laughs> and actually, the most underrated product uh, is also in the running for most overrated product. <laughs> so the nominees are Google Chromebook, oh. Microsoft <laughs> Surface, uh, like in uh, underrated, Windows 8, and the iPhone 5. iPhone, w- we talked about the other three. The iPhone 5, one extra row icons. Yeah. Which one do you think? I it think the, the, you voted for the iPhone 5. It's the most overrated mm. this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Uh, no, I think it's uh, Windows 8, actually. Even though it's uh, pretty close with it. I think iPhone it's 5. Windows 8 too, actually. I will go for uh, Windows 8 as well. Let's see who's right. And the winner is most uh, overrated product. The best thing since sliced bread award is iPhone 5. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know you out there. <laughs> so this is part of the uh, Apple uh, showing some cracks trend. Yeah, you're right. Right, so, definitely. so the thing with the iPhone five is just it's same, same, a little bit more, or yeah. But it was I huge mean, over it. It was like queuing <coughs> and everything, uh, and uh, this big in stores and people uh, waiting. And uh, I mean, they upgraded like the uh, OS like this much, and uh, it looks the same. And yeah. you know, that same was crazy. Stuff, that yeah. was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Definitely should get this price. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it's it's true. It's looking kind of. It's starting to look its age. Uh, the iOS, uh, as compared to the new versions of Android, which are still it's hard. I mean, we, we talked about this previously. It's hard to uh, like uh, keep a high level all the time. I mean, yeah. because I mean, it's yep. fine for like Android uh, phones to but to do a release where it's not that much stuff, but. But I totally agree. Apple, they have put so high expectation on the cell that they yeah. must... Yeah. Why queue for this? something that just, you know, a little, oh, yeah. a little twi- twitch, twitch in the corner. Yeah. Mm. But it was yeah. cute. I mean, <laughs> uh, honestly, as an iPhone 5 user, I still think that the iPhone <coughs> 5 size is what iPhone should have been originally. Yeah. So it, it's mm-hmm. good product, yeah. but totally yeah. over it. Yes, I agree. Okay. Uh, the Hulk Smash Award for <laughs> Breakthrough th- Technology of the Year. Hulk so, uh, and here th- we're talking uh, pretty big stuff here. Nominees are cloud services. Uh, <coughs> it, it's it's out there. It's big. Uh, it uh, expected uh, revenue for cloud services is fourteen point five billion dollars last year. Mm-hmm. Pretty big. Uh, Second nominee, HTML5. I think we've talked a lot about that here as well. 3D printing. Uh, (laughs) We talked about that as well. And big data. Don't you love big data? Yeah, Yeah. but hasn't that been like in the running for the past 
<laughs> X years. Yep. So which one did you think when? Uh, one. Uh, uh, 3D printing. <laughs> <laughs> 3D printing. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree because the other ones think that they have been, been yeah. around for okay. a while. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I will vote for 3D printing. <laughs> 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 and the winner is three. Uh, no. no, cloud no. services. Oh. What? No, oh. it got huge. <laughs> but it it's been huge for yeah. ages and ages. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah but exactly. it really got huge. No. It really it got, got huge. accepted. Yes, accepted. true. Yeah. It accepted by the enterprise. Yeah. True. Oh yeah, that's. Yep. Uh, so, uh, congratulations to cloud services, uh, and uh, well, we still feel. Uh, strong for 3d printing <laughs> <laughs> uh, next year yeah. next year, next year. let's start <laughs> let's start every episode in 2012 <laughs> <laughs> 3d printing if we say it enough maybe yeah, yeah. Ooh, we can. okay uh final word and uh, uh this is the award that's called up up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Oh, Award. I remember that combination. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What is that? Isn't that uh, some up, street up, fighter? Down, down. Yeah. Is it? Ah, oh, for some combo? Or maybe or maybe it's some like hidden... Uh, I always recognize uh, it. It's uh, some uh, hidden uh, uh, code thing on the game. Yeah. <laughs> and that wo- award, the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Award. I like saying that. Uh, for Game Changer of the Year. Yeah. Uh, the nominees are... Microsoft, well, uh, let's say this at least. I mean, they weren't afraid of, of killing their own darlings. Mm-hmm. With Windows 8, with uh, the Surface tablet, with their smartphones, yeah. they did a lot of brave stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they failed miserably every <laughs> time, but they did a lot of brave stuff. Dropbox, uh, number two. Uh, what can you say? We all use it, and it's so smooth. It's such a smooth experience. Amazon. Uh, I mean, Amazon just keeps on inventing. So what they did 2012, which we might not remember, is they launched a green products uh, line. Uh, they started Amazon Game Studios. Uh, the mm. entire uh, S3, the online storage stuff, blew up, exploded, and it grew its customer base to around 30 million people. Personally, I became a Prime member because they started offering Prime memberships as well here in in, in, in Europe. Uh, mm-hmm. And finally, a small unknown company called Google. You might <laughs> not have heard about it, but they like to search engine uh, and some other stuff. I mean, what can you say? Because uh, game changer. What they brought was driverless cars, Chromebook, most underrated product of the year. Uh, Glasses. Real, yeah, glasses, Apple Maps, they surpassed the Internet Explorer uh, as the most used web browser, Ooh. and on and on and on. This is for pretty... The, the old uh, would deserve Game Changer of the Year. Which one do you think won? <coughs> I think you kind of paved the road for no, that was not. Ju- I think yeah. that was my personal preferences. Yeah, yes. maybe. Uh, I mean, so I, I buy books on Amazon like I buy groceries. So, <laughs> I uh, I uh, How do you I think it's groceries? Amazon do you know? like yeah. online. <laughs> yeah, I, <do>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you voted for Amazon just to be different, <laughs> or not voting on Google. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for Microsoft because I really I think that it was really ballsy for Microsoft to to make such huge impact in the OS and and also on the tablets yeah. and all that. So and they and just, it, I, I agree. Maybe it wasn't the best move, but it was still very game changing. Yeah. So. yeah, they recently announced uh, Git support for TFS. Exactly. Yeah, oh, the, wow. and I think mm. that uh, uh, I will uh, say that they won as well, just because they're brave. Mm. They. They're uh, brave, <laughs> a bit clueless, but brave. Are, are they the, win- the underdog, even? <laughs> yes, Microsoft <laughs> is the underdog. Yeah. And the winner is Google. Oh. Mm. Well, yeah. not well, really surprising. It feels like Google has taken but, a yeah. bit of a grand slam. They have, haven't yeah. they? I they, guess so. Uh, most underrated. They've got all the good stuff. Apple got a lot of bad stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. I guess it depends how you... 
So but it, but it's funny. They have the like, year this year. <laughs> they uh, have the the glasses and the the car and if they only had 3D printing, <laughs> that would be it. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, well done, Google. Uh, I, I, actually, you deserve it. Uh, we also had uh, a competition where. Uh, you were asked to provide us a few taglines that summed up 2012. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and I will uh, read a, a few of them uh, that we thought were extra uh, smart and intelligent. Uh, one, bringing you yesterday's technology tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> bringing you yesterday's <laughs> yes. uh, <laughs> Second one, good oh, thing the Mayan apocalypse was using Apple Maps. <laughs> oh, so another planet. <laughs> yep. And uh, uh, third one. Why doesn't it do anything when I touch the screen? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's true. We've gotten so used to touch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got to come in 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and final one. Uh, Apple versus Google. Same shit, different year. Yeah. Oh. You're all copywriters out there. Yeah. You should have a career in. <laughs> yeah, an alternative career in copywriting. Yeah. So, uh, just one uh, final question. Uh, so, if Google was the winner in 2012, uh, when we sit here in one year's time, which one do you think is the winner? Like, which one gets the most positive awards? I think Google will keep on uh, yeah. inventing and keep mm. on doing great stuff. Yeah. Maybe Amazon is coming uh -huh. up. Huh? Yeah, I, I, but I, but I love show, my Amazon. Show, they're gonna yeah. show their face more. Yep, they're very undercover. Yes, they are. They are. They don't make a lot of noise. Mm. You? Yeah, I think uh, Google, the Google, Google, the Google will, they will launch. Dennis, stuff. And Google is still. They still have a good guy, you know, label. So. Okay, so we got Google, Google. Amazon, Google, and I'll work for Google. <laughs> so I'm the only one uh, there sticking. Yeah, yeah. But but Amazon has <coughs> the rest of us are sheep, I mean, and you yeah. you have yeah. your own wealth. I have to be the black yeah. sheep, the black Amazon sheep. I believe in you, Amazon. Yeah. Go for it. Be the printer. <laughs> uh, I totally <laughs> believe. Like, maybe they're the ones. <laughs> being in the spotlight for too long is probably uh, not good because. Yeah, then I mean it's always that you always get to a point where you feel like outdated or even though how uh, in the say you are it, it feels like people like oh we want some news so, mm -hmm. so maybe it's good to be an Amazon and be a bit in the yep behind the current or something. You, you mean like in the summer when you get too much sun yeah, <laughs> like it gets boring uh, with yeah, so they have a cool name mm -hmm. Amazon what do you say yeah <laughs> that, that, <laughs> is true. that is yeah. true but do we believe that Apple will, Apple will uh, uh, fall even yep. deeper down, yes. or will there be some kind of turnaround? Uh, deeper down. Yeah, I believe. So. Yeah, where Microsoft? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Yeah, they will be they joining gonna... Microsoft as, as the underdogs, <laughs> the guys you feel yeah. sorry for. But yeah. I love your iPad Mini. Sorry for everything during this. <laughs> yeah. Prepared geeks. So. Uh, and we the, have Apple here, obviously. Yes, a <laughs> few of them. So uh, <laughs> that's it for an extra long episode of uh, Unprepared <coughs> Geeks. Thank you so much for voting. Uh, it was appreciated. Thank you for all the uh, nice taglines. Um, and we will see you again in 14 days. I'm Nicholas. I'm Eric. I'm Henrik. I'm Ulrika. And also, uh, if you want to talk to us, follow us at SmartBear on Twitter. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.